ACHA regional standings. Here comes Indiana on a break. Nana Arana thinks about a wrist shot. Sauces it over to the far side. A quick chip and it's in. Nana Arana draws first blood for Indiana and another Chicago boy puts a tally on the board for Indiana. 18.39 to go here in period number one. And the Hoosiers are in the driving seat on the road. Goal number four on the season for the Illinois native Emiliano Arana as he nets point number six in the campaign. He's off to a great start this year. And you talk about the freshmen, Sam. They've been huge for this team early on, and Arana steps up right there. Played forward into the neutral zone by Manorino. He works the center of circle. Deflection scores! Beautiful one-time finish by Health. And the senior, Michael Health, has his 16th tuck of the year and is just two goals shy of the team lead, evening the score here with just about five minutes played in the opening period. An impressive start for both sides that we know are running and gunning, trying to make things happen this weekend. Yeah, and right there, Help was just in the right place at the right time. He Six minutes to go here in the first. A minute left on this power play for the Blue Demons. Deflection it in! It might have been an own goal last touched by an Indiana Hoosier, but it doesn't matter. A crooked number up on the board, and the home team back in front. Blue Demons, two goals, under six to play, and a power play goal for DePaul. Right there, Indiana didn't get the puck out of the zone for the entirety of that power play over a minute before they were able to score, and that's just tough on Sammy right there. He faced a variety of shots from different angles, and the deflection goes in. Warner dancing around, plays pitch and catch with his deep partner, Timmons. Lines had to be shifted around for Indiana a little bit as they're missing several guys, both freshmen and veterans. A quick shot, Billis handled it. Again right in front, Billis watches it go under his leg and scores. DePaul doubles their lead. It's three to one with two and a half to go here in the first. And Garrett, just as it happened against Kentucky and Louisville, the same has happened here in Chicago. An early goal by Indiana, followed up by several quick goals by the opposition, putting Indiana back in a bad position. And Manorino. And now the Blue Demons will try to kill some time. Right here, some classic Hoosiers kill off right there. They just take some time out of the clock. And coming in shorthanded, they score. And that is not what you wanted to happen if you're Indiana. A shorthanded goal scored by Leptic. And he picks up number six on the season right there. Warner finds O'Flaherty. Now McDonald gains the zone. McDonald whiffs on the pass, but it finds the stick of Jeremy. He shoots one, and it's off the pipe, and they score! That's going to be Jack O'Flaherty. My goodness, the shot from Jeremy rang iron, and it was just rolling through the crease, and O'Flaherty tapped it home. The old knuckle puck. So that's going to be goal number four on the season for O'Flaherty, and Jeremy's point streak is now at 12, Goose. Warner dodges a check and then takes one. Behind the net, Gustafson taken down from behind. Now he works his way in, he shoots, that one deflected in, they score! Jack Gustafson, the hometown kid, has brought Indiana to within one off a rebound off his own shot. And I knew he was gonna score today. I'm not gonna take any little genie magic here, but Gusty told me the last time he played at this rink, he actually had a hat trick and he's had some good luck with the Nets here and scoring. So. That legacy continues on, and now the Hoosiers down four to three. And Lee gives away the zone right off the bat there. It looked like a hook will wait for the final call. And a centering pass, they score right away as soon as they go on the man advantage. It's a DePaul goal scored by Passion. Warner lays a check. And Passion again swooping in, finds Manorino. Manorino shoots and he scores. 17 seconds left in the period. And DePaul now with their biggest lead of the game at 6-3. And if I'm not mistaken, Passion's got five points on the night. And that's the second goal for Manorino as well. 
Passion was looking for another one right there. Warner lays a check. And Passion again swooping in, finds Manorino. Manorino shoots and he scores. 17 seconds left in the period. And DePaul now with their biggest lead of the game at 6-3. And if I'm not mistaken, Passion's got five points on the night. And that's the second goal for Manorino as well. And the putt cruises over toward the legs of Brest Penix. He gets decked and all the way across the stretch pass. Right in front, fed to the backside, off the corner and in. Theodosopoulos puts a seventh goal on the board for the DePaul Blue Demons. A touchdown to a field goal two minutes into this third period. And Indiana are really in trouble here on the road. A minute even left on this four on four before it becomes a DePaul advantage. Jeremy with some space. A centering pass does not find the tape of McDonald. Played forward, and here comes Michael Helf on a rush. Into space, here's Lee. He gets shouldered, and a quick top shelf score. Michael Helf adds to the problems and rows the boat. Eight to three, the score with 8.44 to go. A four on four goal for the Blue Demons. And Indiana are looking shocked, standing along their own bench. The goal was scored. He basically took a slap shot and sent the puck all the way down the ice. And I think the officials did not like that too much. Well, up on the board, it looks like the DePaul side will be down a man. Now Michael Helf is sitting in the box with his lid popped off. Garrett, it's going to be a four on three for Indiana for the next 43 seconds. And immediately off the draw, we have a DePaul skater head first into the ice. Three on two, quick shot, second chance, Castro Cani up into the air, Wobbler, Gustafson finished it and scores. A power play goal for Indiana right after they seeded a goal of their own. And McCaskey doesn't have to face a shot before he is plus one on the night. And now they're putting Gustafson in the box. What is going on? It's a carousel or a revolving door, pick your poison. And Tommy McDonald, with a letter on his sweater, is converging to figure out what the issue was. Nonetheless, the score eight to four, with 8.32 remaining in this final period of regulation. And still a four goal deficit that Indiana has to overcome. They'd have to score about a goal every two minutes, Garrett. He's shadowed by a white sweater. And it's bobbled around by Manorino. Little dump off pass to Ash. He absorbs a big check. Outside the circle, quick shot just past the far post. Collected in front of the Indiana bench by a white sweater. Now back to Ash at the dot. Fed in front, wobbler and scores. Right past McCaskey's glove. A deflection goal makes it nine to four with 5.33 to go in the third. Matching the score that Indiana beat Xavier by last weekend and a hat trick has been announced thanks to some of the fans who have thrown an old Chicago Bears bucket hat onto the ice. Gliding backhand stopped by McCaskey, who stood his ground. Castracani using his body to shield the puck from an opponent. Gets his pocket picked. Now Michael Half moving in. Leaves it up for Leptic. A quick shot, he scores! A wicked wrister from Leptic. 4.53 to go in the third, and double digits on the board for the men in white sweaters, the Blue Demons. Push toward Timmons. Through the high slot, glove down, and back off the window. Warner a swing and a drive. Ricochet bouncing off the glass. Again, Arana pulls it to himself and then to Chambers. Chambers gets sandwiched and a rugby scrum ensues. Arana gives a man a little shove and then another nudge, pushing off the captain, Brock Ash. Michelle a shot, bouncing and it scores! Well, if it's any consolation, it's only a double up instead of a 10 to four. It's now 10 to five in favor of DePaul with 2.31 to go in the third.